So uh, the two green things are little low energy Bluetooth uh, radios that Apple just is turning on in iOS 7 with a technology called iBeacon. So as you get your iPhone and you get an app that is enabled with this new technology, when you walk closer to one of these beacons, uh, it'll do things for you, and it's pretty remarkable. Uh, Arduino, um, it's really interesting. Just 10 seconds ago, or just right before I got on stage, Arduino announced a new computer that reduces the size of this computer down to the size of a penny. So uh, this, uh, this picture was taken of a jacket that the CEO of uh, Autodesk was wearing on stage with a, a bunch of lights and sensors. But think about the shrinking world of hardware, sensors, lights, different things that are going to go into the clothing that we wear, onto our skin, et cetera, et cetera. I started, you know, last year I started seeing a lot of uh, big data. Uh, we call it big data in the industry. I, I don't like the term because it doesn't explain everything that's happening. But I started seeing new database types coming along. MongoDB came out a few years ago and now is popular. But it didn't exist five years ago when Twitter started. Today, our databases are changing because of the flows of data, partially because of, like Twitter has uh, uh, a billion tweets every 36 hours right now, right? And that's another trend. We're starting to see sensors come around us. We're going to soon walk through fields of sensors. Uh, here's an example. You drive across the Golden Gate Bridge. It takes a picture of your license plate. That's really a sensor. Um, this thing has five sensors on it. My phone has seven sensors on it. Soon Nike is going to have new shoes with more sensors on it. Uh, I know of shirts that are going to have dozens of sensors on it. Uh, the Nest thermostat has a sensor on it. We're going to see many, many, many sensors come out over the next year that's going to bring on this new age. We're seeing social network data doubling every, I don't know, we'll talk about with Nick, but every 18 months, let's say, sort of like a new kind of Moore's Law, where uh, Twitter is going from a billion tweets to two billion tweets a day. And we're seeing the same effect happening in location data. So my phone knows I'm here. I can check in, right? We've done that Foursquare thing for a while. But the data is doubling at a really high rate, and we'll talk about that with uh, Neck too. 